Welcome back to our AuroraNet tutorial series. Let's see how to create groups of items and apply an EQ, delay or level control. One way is the auto grouping function. Click on item on the control wheel, then auto grouping. The system will automatically analyze the setup, suggesting some smart groups such as speaker type or RDNet channel. I'll pick the L210 type and S318 type groups, so each top and sub will be included in a separate group, and confirm. Note that each element has now been highlighted by a different color, also visible when zoom out. The control wheel brings us to a dedicated workspace, where we can manage the PA through a group view rather than a single item view. I'll then select the group view. This is how the compact view of a group looks like. I arrange them in a line and click the upper left button to expand the group. Now I can see each item included in it. And even in this workspace, I am still able to access the most important parameters thanks to the view button. Here, I can edit the group level, the delay, and the mute, solo and polarity switches. The upper right button, instead, brings me to an extended view, which includes EQ and advanced controls. Expand the group VOS318. I can add a filter using the dedicated button on the right. Dragging the filter control point by left clicking will affect gain and frequency, while either widening the dedicated controls or scrolling the mouse wheel will modify the cue. This will be even easier and more intuitive on touch-based devices, since AuroraNet recognizes gestures such as pinch to zoom or drag and drop. For fine tunings, just fill in each field manually. Furthermore, you can change filter type. From the drop down menu, select Linkwitz Riley High Pass Filter with 12 dB per octave slope. Resource Monitor area on the right will show real-time usage of your DSP. In this very moment, we have 1 out of 16 filters in use. If I change the slope up to 24 dB per octave, the DSP will use twice as much power. The maximum for each group is 16 filters. If I change the group delay on the bottom left corner instead, the delay bar will be the one growing, up to a remarkable value of 62 milliseconds or 21 meters. Now I add one more filter. Notice the red bar, showing in real time the resulting curve of the interaction of all active filters. When optimizing our PA, I may want to compare two different filter sets, A and B, and compare them in real time. For example, I try to use just one filter with different parameters and see which works the best between A and B. Groups can also be collapsed in a semi-compact view mode activated by the green arrow on the right. This way, you will see fewer relevant parameters with a more accessible layout. This is definitely useful when it comes to monitor multiple group levels at the same time. Sometimes, you need a single item to be part of more than one group. 
let's build one. First, jump back to the control wheel and select the single item workspace. Second, make a drag selection of all of the connected speakers and assign them to a new group by clicking the add group button. Rename the group as master. Confirm. Once back to the group workspace, I can see the new master group. Getting into details, notice that the filters bar shows three filters working, despite the empty EQ blackboard. This means that some or all of the speakers in this group are already using filters somewhere else, being part of other groups already. Any further change in this group, of course, will affect all of the speakers belonging to it, and it will be summed to any existing processing running. For example, I will add one more filter. Jumping back to the item view and expanding one sub, we will see on the preset tab the resulting action of all of the filters applied to it, regardless of the group they came from. For your convenience, there is a summary group tab showing every single group this item belongs to. From this very tab, you can also include or exclude items from this or any other group by clicking these dedicated buttons. Please refer to AuroraNet user manual for any other detail or check dbtechnologies.com website. See you soon with other DB Technologies tutorials. Thanks for your attention. Ciao.